At the age of two, Tenzin Gyatso was recognized as the reincarnation of the previous Dalai Lama. When he was four, he left his remote rural corner of Tibet for Lhasa, the capital city. There he lived in the sprawling Podla Palace and the summer residence of Norbulinka. Already at the age of 15, as China aggressively occupied Tibet, he became the political leader of the Tibetan people. The following year, the Chinese forcefully incorporated Tibet into the People's Republic of China. Tensions between the two adversaries persisted throughout the 1950s. In 1959, the situation boiled over, resulting in the Tibetan uprising. The Chinese responded by violently cracking down on the rebellion. It became clear Chinese authorities would hold the 23-year-old Dalai Lama accountable for the civil unrest. His Holiness consulted his oracle and advisors. It was agreed that a risky escape from the besieged Norbulinka Palace, where he was holed up, would be undertaken. Recalling the night of his departure, the Dalai Lama wrote, At nightfall, I went for the last time to the shrine dedicated to Mahakala, my personal protector divinity. I went forward and presented a kata, a length of white silk, to the divinity. This is the traditional Tibetan gesture on departure and signifies not only propitiation, but also implies the intention of return. His Holiness disguised himself and courageously and quite miraculously snuck out of the residence past a gauntlet of danger. After a two-week journey across the Himalayas, he found refuge in Dharamshala, India, where he set up the government in exile. Some 80,000 Tibetan refugees followed him into agricultural settlements set up in the area. Though it has been more than six decades since the white silk was ceremoniously offered on that fateful night, perhaps the power of the kata may one day still work its magic, invoking the return of the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan people to their homeland.